Today is Friday, the 5th day of January 2024. I am George Wenner and I am here at the junction of Fry's Hill and Cedar Valley Roads going into Pope's Head. We're here at the Donbass Center. This is the western end and as you can see, excavation is continuing. So we're on location here, of course, at Donbass. And we're on the southernmost boundary this is the cedar valley road takes you up to the cedar valley golf course cedar, ba cedar valley springs cedar valley gardens and we're entering onto the premises and what i want to show you you know the work has not started for the day as yet what i want to show you the fact that they're backfilling the ponds here on the agricultural station so this is one of the ponds as you can see the tracks from the excavator and they have been backfilling this pond okay so I'm at the edge and let's go in and see well so we're disappearing going down into this pond that they have been backfilling so they've been dumping a lot of material boulders and trying to reclaim backfill this pond to sell the persons to build their house houses upon okay so this would have been i am on this i am on this side of the pond they're throwing material in to backfill yeah yeah and so we're looking up and so uh, i would say this is about the depth of this pond would be about 12 to 15 feet deep the depth of this pond 12 to 15 feet deep we're standing let's walk up to the edge outside of this pond and we are back up and this is the rim of the pond and we're just down there in the pond so they're backfilling this pond and the whole idea is to sell this land backfill ponds to individuals to build their homes would you want to buy land in this area <laughs> at this location on a backfill pond that's that's the situation and of course as you can see over in the distance earth moving equipment they're cutting roads that's some of the crops over there that's some of the crops over there that's this the house the station that was burnt out and the areas of sweet potato carrots that they have ripped up and the work continue unabated so they're cutting roads through the farm the research acres of research Dunbar's research facility it matters not to the Gaston Brown administration so they have It matters not to the Gaston Brown administration that this area was designated for agricultural research. Not just serving the nation of Antigua and Barbuda, but the sub-region and the wider region all the way down to Central America, Belize in Central America. And so they're taking off the topsoil, the rich agricultural topsoil, and they're digging down to the clay, the limestone, and they're destroying the area they're destroying the area for a housing project mindless brainless ill-advised this is what obtains here at Dunbar's So this is another area through the field 
They're cutting a road going down to that section. Here is all cut up. You can see here that coconut tree, that mature coconut tree is pushed down. We'll make our way over there. But I want to get over to this section. This is an area of interest. That's a weather station for the Antigua and Barbuda Meteorological Service. We'll see if they push this down as they did with the coconut tree. Let's make our way over here. Sweet potato. Now interesting. This was above ground, as you can see. And this is the depth at which they dug down so you can see this is above ground here and they clear down the topsoil about five four to five feet to get down to this level this depth Okay, so this is a weather station, the Antigua and Barbuda Meteorological Services for data, rain gauge, checking the amount of rainfall in the area, wind, temperature, other data, pressure, other data for this weather station. We'll see if they push down this weather station as well in collecting their data, rain gauge. <laughs> so it intrudes. And it is, as you can see, it's anchored off to withstand inclement weather and to report real time the data here at Dunbar's. We'll see if they push this down as well. Going over to the northern side. So this area as well. This is the burnt out office space charred burnt out office space that was ablaze got it by fire two years ago but the workers still have to use this space they sit outside and under this picnic table as a tree and this is the desk they use they have to sacrifice furniture so this effect in effect is their office space that's the desk outside on that tree and that's another desk and this is the office this is what agricultural workers are reduced to in Antigua and Barbuda. That's another desk outside on the neem tree. This is, I kid you not, this is what obtains in Antigua and Barbuda. This is the office because their office space was burnt out at this research facility. Let's make our way over here. This looks familiar to you. You see the drip lines are still here and they dug up here. get up on this mound oh, ah, let's go around here's where that excavator was working and you can see the potato vine is here and this road 
seem as if it is a road where they are cutting coin coming through here through this potato field sweet potato field they're cutting a road straight through the sweet potato field yes drip irrigation lines knocked over and this is the coconut palm knocked over and they're cutting a road to this other weather station <laughs> bye so let's get up to this other weather station and we see here drip irrigation line buried under this mound and this is expensive equipment yeah and look how this is torn up ripped up not allowed to be secured this was ripped up so you can see the excavator torn up the lines were not allowed the workers were not allowed to secure the lines the drip irrigation thousands and thousands of dollars just ripped up madness madness they're cutting a road through the field this is another weather station from the Met Office <laughs> so the road comes and that's another field there and it skirts around this station so I guess this will be the road cutting around this weather station hmm interesting it's anchored and we see the solar panels here it's powered by solar energy and I guess that is the rain gauge there collecting rainfall data barometric pressure temperature wind direction and speed so the road skirts around the anchor point here and then comes back this way because as you can see it looks like they were planning to cut that road straight through coming this way from cedar valley on the south coming straight through to connect with that point through this weather data equipment from the Met meteorological services and they're doing a little skirt around so i don't know if motorists how are we gonna do if they're gonna knock down this this is pure madness madness on steroids This is what they have done. This is indeed what they have done. Madness. Sheer madness. They have no regard the disdain they have for agriculture and workers in the sector for them all antiguans are to be working in servitude in the hospitality sector individuals who think of independence who think of entrepreneurship who think of venturing into the agricultural sector you're treated with disdain by this administration because this administration thinks little or thinks nothing of the importance of agriculture and food security and a research facility just as obtained here at Dunbar's in providing germ plasma planting material for farmers to develop their crop 
here we see a picker looks like this individual is salvaging the wood to burn coal yes salvaging some of the wood here to burn coal a charcoal entrepreneur provider it's crazy Morning, morning, morning. This brings us back out and see the Valley Main Road. And on this side is the golf course. And they're cutting the course here. And so we're here with some concerned citizens. Let me try and make my way across the road safely. We're here with some concerned citizens who are here in protest against the actions of the Gaston Brown administration in destroying the Dunbar's research facility. And so citizens are out in their numbers and they're here registering their protests as to the actions of the Gaston Brown administration. The actions taken and we're here we're here and we're all here registering our protest standing in solidarity with farmers food security <laughs> government killing agriculture that captions it so we're all here individuals are here protesting calling on the government to reverse that decision that ill-advised decision of destroying seed not green of destroying the agricultural sector as destroying the Dumba, the Dunbar's research facility ALP said agriculture is dead that sign says and so we're all here many have gathered here and we see even over on the other side the police are also here and the crowd is building and the citizens are calling on the government the Gaston Brown administration to reverse the decision save Donbass and Christian Valley it's all happening here it's all happening here it's, it's all happening here 